All right, it's our last day in Miami. It's kind of sad. The trip's never as fun going back, you know? I just threw up randomly like 10 minutes ago, so that's peculiar. But I don't think I'm sick or anything. I just, I don't know why I threw up. We're watching shitty YouTube intros right now. I can't believe these things are real. <laughs> Yee boys, welcome back to another fucking banger. We should start introing our videos like that. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> obliterate that like button, boys. Just got to South Beach. Oh, sorry, I gotta intro that. <laughs> Yee boys, what's up with it? We just got to South Beach. We're filming singing Tyler Hero in public at South Beach, but I have to piss really bad. So we're gonna find a bathroom and then we're gonna film singing Tyler Hero in public. Fuck what y'all think. Fuck everything that you say about me. Just wrapped up singing in public. I'm not even gonna lie. That was actually really fun. I did not th expect that to be as fun as it was. Can I ride your scooter? This is serious business right now. We're all in trouble. Wait, why are we in trouble? Because I'm the Messiah. Oh my girlfriend, she threw me out this morning. She throws God every day. I'm shocked to hear that. Yeah. Get crazy women. Maybe switch to guys. Give that a shot. I tried that. It's not for me. I kind of like the sex, but I don't really like guys. You like the sex, but you don't like guys? Guys, no. Oh, okay. I'll see you in the new world. Or? I will see you there. Do they have Chipotle in the new world? Because I'm starving and I'm trying to get a burrito. I think we can have to like grow fruits and vegetables. And Shit. Yeah, I'm going to stay in this world for now because they have Chipotle and I'm going to go there and get some food. I'll meet you there though. Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's Skinny Penis Cletus back again with another fucking banger. We're just chilling in the elevator here. I got my two homies back here. What's your name? Amber. No, no. <laughs> Amber and I don't know. My favorite thing to do when we get into elevators is just to belt out the shittiest YouTube intros I can. Hot dog water cart. I don't know how you guys hit those things, man. Did you buy that from some 16 year old in their garage? People don't even know what's in those. We gotta be up at 4.30 for, to catch our plane tomorrow. It's 11.46. <laughs> Gonna take a quick nap. Dude, I can't believe uh, it's the last day, man. Last night. I'm actually sad. Yeah, bro. Might shed a tear. Gonna miss you, Lefty. I'm gonna miss you, Lefty. Bring it in, man. Let me kiss that bald head. Miss you, bro. Most likely. Miss you, bro. Sus, but not sus. Miss you, bro. There's nothing, su homies. nothing sus about it, bro. <laughs> you know what it is, guys? It's too early. It's 4.30 in the morning. We're heading out. What a gentleman, man. Right, bro, thank you for having us for real. It's been a pleasure, man. But tell your family thanks and everything, too. Uh, thanks again for having us. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. You're gonna be famous. <laughs> Crazy. You come here to like work on shit and then you leave with like genuine friends, you know? The whole family was dope. Big thanks to Lefty, obviously. His brother and his brother's buddies, man. Some of the funniest people I've ever met. I wish we got them on camera. Like they would put every YouTube idiot out of business, myself included. Yeah, I mean, I'm just like super grateful to anybody that believes in me and, and things like that because I mean, even some of the people closest to me, you know, I don't get it from them all the time so it's like when a when a complete stranger believes in you and his family believes in you to the point where they just let you just stay there for free you don't meet nice people like that often so obviously big thanks to them and uh thanks to dan for taking along on the journey with me as always now we gotta find a way to fucking drop this car off at the airport this is all new stuff to me guys i know it sounds like it's nothing big but never done this before so it's a learn it's a it's a learning experience guys i should probably just follow the signs that say rental return that would probably be the smart thing to do when you're returning a rental huh i can't believe we were just contemplating if we should just leave the car on the outside of the building <laughs> with the keys in it that's literally the a debate we have you just leave it there you have to yeah i guess we're like we can't get in it's not open we should probably just leave the car parked out here <laughs> just leave a free car for someone yeah, to take just imagine give me a call from enterprise <laughs> enterprise calls us <laughs> where'd you leave it uh just on the outside of the airport <laughs> somewhere imagine renting a lamborghini i'm so desperate for people to think i'm rich that i need to rent a lamborghini a little early morning train ride Hold on to and i park. think that's where we're going oh shit oh shit oh shit <laughs> The kids that would run to class like that, you just see them just out of nowhere. Got a flight to catch. 
They don't have fucking prices, dude. I'm gonna pay $20 for this stuff. Dude, the sandwich was $11. Better taste like a bar of gold. <laughs> it tastes like a bar of solid gold, man. Can't believe I paid eleven dollars for that. That's all I gotta say. Once again, this is Double Flight Twenty Five Twenty Seven. Service to the Twin Cities. I'm free to be whatever I, whatever I choose, and I'll sing the blues if I want. I'm all right, we free. just landed in Minnesota. Waiting for my bag. You don't know what controlled rage is until you're trying to get off an airplane and you see the people trying to get their shit from the overhead and you see the person in front of them was just like. We've been back in Minnesota for about 11 days now. Me and Dan took last weekend off to sort of regroup. I had a lot of editing to do, but we're back in business now. The good thing about Minnesota is that you get all four seasons. So right now it's fall. That means Halloween's right around the corner. We want to film a little Halloween themed video so we're gonna do the scarecrow scare prank we gotta go get a costume though the first real order of business is to call these idiots at enterprise we rented a car in florida and when you rent a car you have to put a deposit down to make sure you don't damage or break anything there were a few damages to the car but we we asked them about that beforehand they're like yeah we already know about that you're good so i get back to minnesota and they took half the deposit now nah, i'm pissed <laughs> Cause it's like, I'm not like a fucking huge YouTuber right yet. That's like a chunk of the rent, you know, that's just gone. So uh, I called them, basically told me they lost the contract and like didn't have my name under contract. And they were like really like rude about it. I'm like, how do you just lose somebody's contract? They said they'd call me back, never called me back. So we're gonna call them right now. Like calling the White House to get through to them, man. Thank you for calling Enterprise. My name is Lizzie. At what time would you like to pick up your vehicle? Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Do you guys rent cars here? We do have a location in 9800 South Dixie Highway in Miami. Do you think that would work out for you? What? <laughs> do you think the location in... 9800 South Dixie Highway in Miami would work out for you. What? Do you think Sorry. the location in 9800 South Dixie Highway would work out for you? Should, should I say what again? <laughs> what? Is there any chance you can provide me a zip code to the location you're willing to rent from? Uh. What's a hip code? <laughs> Can I please have the state and the city you're willing to run from? You just call me shitty? No, the state and the city you're willing to run from. <laughs> I fucking can't do it. We do have a location in 9800 South Dixie Highway. You, what? You wish you were in Dixie? We do have a location in 9800 South Dixie Highway. I don't support, I don't support Dixie. I, those Confederate bastards, we, we beat them for a reason. I don't support them whippersnapper. All right, can I please have a zip code? You hit, who's chode? Can I please have a zip code? <laughs> a <postal> code? <laughs> Honey, what's the zip code? Honey? Honey, what's... <laughs> I muted it just in time. We also do have a location in Coral Gables. Are you interested? Who's gay? That Jimmy Carter was a hell of a guy, wasn't he? I'm not pretty sure who he was. But uh, do you think you could pick up in this location? You kids these days are always on your phones. You know, I tell my grandchildren, I say, you want to end up with half a brain? Go on your cell phone. When I was your age, I had to walk five miles to school, uphill, both ways. All right. Um. I feel like we might be going into another gas shortage. I'm um, sorry, sir. Do you want to rent a vehicle? The prices are just getting higher and higher by the minute. Are you willing to rent a vehicle? Man, I miss Jimmy Carter. Are you willing to rent a vehicle? What? Who am I speaking to? Is that you, Linda? You are contacting a call center for Enterprise. Oh, fuck. Oh, I thought I was talking to my mother. I can't do it, man. 
Dude, what a saint, man. She just stay on the phone for that long. How did they not have that good of customer service when I called them about my, my deposit? They're like, nope, we don't have the contract. Contract's gone. Time to go get a scarecrow costume. Seems like they take a lot of pride in what their storefront looks like around Spirit Halloween, doesn't it? What is this, dude? <laughs> <laughs> they got the door chained up. I think we have to use this door. Dude, I actually love Halloween, not gonna lie. That's scarier than any costume in this in this whole entire store right there. Do you like bad boys? <laughs> well, this smells like a frog's terrarium. I used to have pet frogs when I was younger. Smells exactly like the inside of their cage. Just pulled up to the corn maze. You ready? Look at how far these things stick out. <laughs> <my thing. laughs> Dude, I can't see jack shit, man. This mask is full. All right, we gotta go. Oh God, dude. Oh God, it's starting. She's not even scared. <laughs> She's doing it back. You guys get some good pumpkins today? Or? How's the popcorn? Oh, hi, how you doing? Jesus Christ. Popcorn good or? Okay, okay. I was just asking. I really like your sunglasses. Jesus. <laughs> My daughters are coming up the way. You're the living shit. I got you. I like your sunglasses. Oh my God. <laughs> I really do. I really like your hat. I like her hat a lot. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was just gonna say I like your hat. Oh, you got me. I'll just, I'll just sink back into the corn. Do you know what time it closes in there? Did you guys have fun today? Oh, God, that was his job. Dude, people think I work here. <laughs> Can I have a piece of cotton candy? Find any good pumpkins oh, today? Oh, you scared the fuck out of me. God, you almost got fun. What type of dog is that? <gasps> scared me. The dog jumped. Can I take a picture? Go for it. <laughs> thank, All right, you. thank you. Thank you. Scarecrow's famous. Do you mind if I have a sip of that? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, go, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, thank, thank you. you. Oh, what is that? Oh my God, what is that? <laughs> Josh, come on! Get go, come on! They ran back into the corner. Don't you do it, don't you do it. Don't do it! Oh, I'm done, I'm done. Run, 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 run! <laughs> I like the hat, man. <laughs> I didn't know they had white pumpkins. Shit, you <laughs> Sorry. I like your sunglasses. Oh my god! <laughs> I love the matching t-shirts. Oh my god! No, it's awful. Yeah, we it's her, it's oh her birthday shit! Today. Never mind. I don't like the T-shirt. Yeah, I don't either. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a fucking missing person listed on the back of their shirt. I didn't know that. <laughs> that is a nice oh pumpkin. Oh my god! What? That's a nice pumpkin. Thank you. I like the flannel, man. Oh. <laughs> I like you. the. Where'd you get that sweet hat? <laughs> yeah. There's so much corn in my boots. They make blue Chick-fil-A oh. sweatshirts. Huh? They make blue Chick-fil-A sweatshirts. Yeah. Wow. Scared the crap. Oh, I'm sorry. I just was curious about your sweatshirt. Did you guys find a lot of pumpkins today? Yeah. I like your purse. Oh my god, you god. scared the shit. Look at Lily. <laughs> that was a good one. Can I have some popcorn? <laughs> How about them bears this year, huh? Alright. I'll go fuck myself. How'd you guys like the corn maze? Oh, we loved it. You liked yeah, it? It was fun. We were waiting for a scarecrow. No I got you. Oh my gosh. Can we take a picture with you? Yeah, for sure. Thank you guys. Thank you. If you want to be treated like a celebrity, buy a scarecrow costume. I really like your cowboy hat. Thank you. Slow down, slow down, slow down. I almost drop kicked you. No running in the corn maze. That's a nice sweater. Hey, buddy. What? I like that sweater. Shit. <laughs> I did not want to do it. for this. Yes! Who got the biggest pumpkin oh, today? She scared the shit out of me. Please don't play in the corn. This is my home. That's a sweet jersey, man. Oh, oh my god. That is a sweet jersey. Oh what the crap? That scared me. Not falling for it again. <laughs> I like your shirt, man. Oh, that's Rick awesome. and Morty. <laughs> Can I try one of those? Woo! 
Can you tie my shoe? I can't, sorry. I don't. Finger's too long. Slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> Boom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> don't take my corn, don't take my oh. corn. <laughs> Come on, this is my home. Did you guys have a good time today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't good job, buddy. Did you guys have a good time today? <laughs> what type of dog is that? Oh it's so cute. Did you guys oh have a good God. time? <laughs> oh my God! You almost got punched. What the fuck? Don't do that. Oh. That man is what? good at hiding. Can I have a bite of that? Oh my God. <laughs> you know what out of me. Can I have a bite of that? Going home. <laughs> you oh, scared the crap out of me. I like your sunglasses. Oh my God, you scared the crap out of me. I almost <laughs> punched you. <laughs> Sorry. That would have been funny. You know? <laughs> You're blowing my cover, guys. Let me live in you peace. This is my home. Those are some nice sunglasses. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> are the apples good? This is a pregnant lady. Be careful. I like your hat. I like your glasses. Oh, shit. oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Can I sue you if I have a heart attack? Sorry, man. Okay. He saw the camera and it still got him. This would actually be a fun job, like working at a haunted house and scaring people. Half the people thought I worked here. <laughs> They're like, what a fun job you have. We always lose our car everywhere we go. We always spend an hour searching for our car because I have no sense of direction. That actually went way smoother than I expected it to. I thought we were gonna get kicked out like the second or third time. Everybody was super chill. I only got threatened twice. <laughs> I wanna end the video with a comment update. I haven't done one in a while. You know, I like to, I like to go through my comments and read what the, what the people have to say, man. The first one I got was from BK. He said, I fuck with you because your energy is so real. You're not faking being all over happy and shit. I like the calm vibe. I like that a lot because it's like in my videos, I try to keep it real and like talk how I would talk with just my buddies. When I'm with Dan or with any of my friends, I'm never like, it's time for positivity, guys. Let's spread so it's like I get like it's all about being positive. I get that being positive is a really good thing. But when I make the videos, I want to keep it real and like um, just be myself. A lot of people think on YouTube you have to like be this character. I'm introverted. I struggle with like a lot of social anxiety even though it may not seem like it from the videos. I have it a lot, especially when I'm in groups of people. I wanna prove that like even if you're like that, you can still make it on YouTube and you can still do these types of things. The pranks and the videos have helped me a lot. Like they've helped me uh, sort of get out there and they've helped with my social anxiety and things like that. That's part of the reason why I love making them. There's just a lot of fake fake energy I guess and I want to prove that you can just be yourself and be who you are and still make it on YouTube even if you're more quiet reserved and it, it would seem like on a surface level my personality shouldn't be one that's on camera I feel like people that know me in my everyday life would think that I'm not a person that would be good on camera but being on camera has actually helped that so yeah I guess like I just want to show that it is possible if you, if you struggle with sort of the same things I do. Another comment we got, Balin Levine commented on one of my videos and he followed me actually. And I mean, that's cool. Cause it's like, Balin's like a, a guy that's done it. Like he's, he's made it, he's sort of achieved kind of what we're all chasing after, I guess on YouTube. And he's been through the, the struggles and challenges to get there. So it's cool when somebody that's taken the path and knows how hard it is because it does get pretty difficult sometimes and it does get lonely a lot of the time. It's cool when they sort of reach out to you and um, give you a little encouragement. He uh, responded to my DM, told me to keep going and that, I mean, it, it, it just means a lot when it's when it's somebody that's made it, you know, and they, they want to see you win and they want to see others succeed. So, so thank you, Balin. That's how I want to be too. I never want to be the guy that succeeded and then is like, it's just me up here. Like I can't, I don't want anybody else. I don't want to think the way where it's like, if I succeed and others succeed, that's taking away from me. I want it to be like, if I succeed and others succeed, that's good for everyone. I want to be able to be successful and then lend helping hands to others and give them encouragement to motivate them. Kind of like Balin's doing so. I mean, that's just, I appreciated that a lot. And just thank you to everyone supporting me and supporting the videos. A lot of times I focus on 
where I'm not rather than appreciating where I am. I just feel like we're on to something special and I'm glad that everybody that is with me is along for it. All the fans, everybody that likes the videos and watches them, I mean, it means a lot. So I'm excited about what the future has. I feel like something's coming around the corner and it's gonna be really good. So thank you everyone. Fine time, fine time, she's on show. Fine time, staying for the summer. If you're intelligent, you shout out to Loaf and you subscribe to Loaf. <laughs>